Okay, Dad. Are you ready to see your second daughter? I don't see any reason why she should wait anymore to see her father. I'm ready. This is crazy. How are we supposed to explain to her that her dad was gone because he vanished out of thin air for ten years? We won't. Just go with the flow. So, how's she like? Well, if you like spoilers, she's got your hair, mom's eyes, and we named her Kara. Kara? Like, like my mother? Yeah, it's our, our quickest thing we could come up with in a way we could, you know, remember you. Uh, and since we told her about you, she's been dying to grow up to be like you. Really? Yeah, the problem with that is Mom doesn't really let her out of here much. Here she comes! Kara, I want you to meet somebody very important. This is our dad. Um, hi, Kara. Hi, Daddy. I'm, I'm having trouble of thinking what to say. I, I'm, I'm sorry I've been away for so long, and I, I don't really expect you to forgive me, but I just wanted you to know that. Oh. I'm glad you came back. I missed you. I... I missed you too. So, Mom sleeps on top of this thing? No, actually behind it. And is that a trap door? Yeah, that's our last hiding place. Our last hope. Like, say if they found us here, we would all go down there and hopefully they wouldn't find us. There's a switch down there that automatically slides the board over the door. With any luck, they may never find us there. I see. Well, I'm surprised this, this place was successfully built. Well, it's time for Kara to get to bed. I want Daddy to tuck me in. C c could I? If that's what she wants, go ahead. There's your bed. That's it? Yeah. Well, I'll take it from here then. Okay. There you go. All tucked in. So you're my daddy? I sure am. My sister said you've been gone for a long time. Yeah, I have. Why did you leave? Well, to tell you the truth, even some of the greatest daddies make mistakes sometimes. Even when they don't know what they're doing. I guarantee you nobody's perfect. But that doesn't mean I still love you. I'm glad you came back. Me too. Now you rest now. Good night, Kara. Don't go, please. But if I can't go, I, I can't get mommy. And the whole family won't be together. Don't you want that? I don't want you to go. Not again. Look, Kara, I'm sorry I left for so long. I really am. But look, even if I have to go somewhere for some reason, I promise from now on it won't be forever. Can you understand that? Still, I don't want to be here alone. Well, you're not going to be alone. I mean, your brother and your sister are in the other room, and Superbot's always watching the door, so... He's never going to let any bad guys get in here. And 
Sparky and Slimy are still going to be around. Still. Say, how would you like it if I got Sparky to come stay here with you and keep you company? I guess. Hey, Sparky, come here, boy. Here, here. What's up, pal? Listen, can you stay here with Kara while I go get Tori? No problem. Okay, thanks, Sparky. Good boy. Well, good night. Good night, Kara. Good night. Wait, wait. Look. look. Let's think about this. What if she faints again just from looking at you? I can't stay away from her forever. She's waited long enough. Tori? This, this isn't a dream, is it? No, I'm here. I figured if I had woken up here, Tori, please listen to me. No, you listen. Do you even know what it was like here without you? We were lucky to escape when they brought us here, but our baby was born alone. She was all that I had left of you. So many people were dying. I can't even tell what's worse. Facing death or suffering the pain in life. I don't even know what to think now that you're back. <laughs> I'm, I'm still having trouble knowing exactly what happened. I'm not even sure of it. Look, I don't expect you to forgive me. I just want you to know that I am sorry. And I just hope that you accept that I am back and the fact that I still love you. Look, I don't see how we could settle this if we don't even look at each other. Tori, please talk to me. You probably think I'm hideous, don't you? You're not used to seeing me like this. I'm not as young as I was. Since when does that ever have to do with love? When I got to know you well enough, I fell in love with you for not what my eyes had to show me for what my heart told me. And now I realize for the first time that you can't live without me. For that I love you so much. Whoever knew even the biggest problems could be solved with love? I know. Corey, do you remember how we were first married? How it all started? I finally got out of college and you took me to our favorite spot on the beach to celebrate. And then you thought of this perfect way of 
not giving the whole proposing part away by not giving me a ring and just whispering in my ears. It felt like a dream. I couldn't imagine myself being any more happier in my life. And we really planned it out so we could do it on Christmas Eve. But we had so little money. And, you know, we were lucky to find the cheapest dress and, and batch of flowers. And we were lucky that we couldn't even afford to be inside a church. But we were lucky enough to hire the, the, the priest. Oh, and when we kissed... I'll never forget that kiss. We just kissed for so long, like, we could never kiss like that again. That was the best kiss of my life. Yeah, I remember it. Yeah. But you know, I never really told you. The wedding I had of my dreams was to really get married and Disneyland. They say it's where the dreams come true. That would make it perfect. Yeah. But it doesn't matter anymore. I don't care as long as I have you. Oh, darn you, Corey.